Okay, so basic reassembly again with the uh, new shock mounts. So now you can see that shock has got a whole different angle to it. And it's actually very comparable to the angle of the shocks in the rear. And uh, today I was working on these uh, shock towers. And uh, a couple of videos back, I was showing you guys how I uh, determine where this uh, shock mount needs to be. And uh, I made this stuff up recently, so it needs welding yet. And this is part of an X brace, goes across to the other side. See, and then a similar structure here on this side. Yeah, this one is still spot welded on here. This piece is loose. Yeah, got a lot of welding to do here. And uh, this piece here, part of the X brace. So it's got quite a quite an angle on that uh, notch there, and I actually ended up doing this with my uh, angle grinder by hand. My uh, tubing notcher, it won't make an angle that extreme. So uh, to make these, what I do is I cut the tubing off at approximately the correct angle, but I cut it off on the long side, like maybe uh, half an inch too long or something. And then I start carving away at it to uh, what kind of I think was probably about the right shape. And then I go back and I fit it. And uh, I actually fit this end first. I got this end fitting nice. And then uh, this one was next. And I probably went back and forth just on this notch here, notching it by hand. I probably went back and forth 10 times at least. You know, back and forth, you know, grind a little, go back and test, and then grow, you know, till uh, finally I got it to where I want. And the idea is to s slowly sneak up on the shape. And as, as I'm getting it fine tuned, with the shape then it's also getting a little shorter each time that I mess with it and then uh, by the time I've got it into the right shape then basically we got uh, the shape and the length correct. That was a big job actually getting these pieces done. So yeah and uh, I was using that cheap bender to make these and uh, I, I recorded some video of uh, bending one of these and I think I'm going to play that for you guys now. So the trick to bending this tubing with this bender is using a die that's one size too small and then that tubing it's just kind of like forced right in there right to the bottom of that die and it's held really tight and then uh, it's, it manages to uh, keep its shape. Once I had that bend made, then what I did is I cut off almost all of the bend. So this is this is actually a scrap piece now. You can see you can see the bend is just starting here. So most of the bend I left intact, and then that got welded into that bracket piece for the shock. So just to give you an idea how much of that actually got cut off of there. 